Hi, so I'm here in our kitchen and yesterday I made cheese um, and from uh, roughly 10 litres of milk we've got quite a bit of whey. One, one good way to use it up is uh, feed it to your animals but what I like to do with it is something um, a bit different. Uh, basically a whey caramel. We use it to make things like uh, breakfast bars. So um, that's what we're gonna do today. So we're just gonna reduce it very, very slowly over a few hours. Um, and as you can see the whey, because I finished making the cheese a few hours ago, um, you can see that it's, it's fairly clear, fairly clear. Um, and then on the top, obviously the, the last remnants of the curds is still there settling. Now, so here's the caramelized whey that I made last time. And you can see that's, uh, that, that's foam on the top. It's actually quite a clear caramel. And here's the whey, as you can see, oh, I actually made the decision to put it all in in one go. So I just about got it in, a bit less than I thought. And um, I poured it in there through this this filter that I use, it's the consistency of a coffee filter. It's very, 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 very fine indeed. And that caught all the remnants of the, the curds that were left over from the, the cheese making, which you can still see down there. I've got this on a medium high heat. I'm not going to boil it, particularly at the start because, because it's so near the top of the pan. I'm gonna bring it to a very, very, very low simmer. Um, and really all I wanna see is the steam coming off it. We're currently about an hour in and it's got up to the sort of temperature I'm after. I don't know if you can see the steam rising off it there. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is just with a slotted spoon, I'm gonna remove this froth from the top. Okay, so we've been boiling now for perhaps 11, 12, three and a half hours. As you can see, it is uh, significantly reduced. I would say it's reduced by a third. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the only other two ingredients. Now, technically speaking, you can do this with no other ingredients, just with the white whey, you should be able to reduce it. So one of the ways you can avoid it crystallizing is by adding some sugar and a little bit of lemon juice. So that's what I'm gonna do just now. Um, and if you, I mean, I'm literally gonna just do a dash of lemon juice, literally just to increase the acidity and then I've weighed out half a kilogram of sugar. We started with um, about six litres of, of whey. So that's half a kilogram of sugar gone in there now. Um, and then it's back to business as usual. I'll just keep stirring, reducing, stirring, reducing. Probably, it's probably about the third, no, less than a third of the volume that we started. And this sort of crystal the top starts crystallizing around the edges really quite fast, so I'm starting to stir it far more frequently now. It's starting to thicken up, and as I say, that crystal surface will form within a few seconds of it settling. This is it after five and a half hours. We're nearly there. I think within. Okay, so we're done. It is six hours since we started. Right, as that cools, it will get even stiffer to the consistency of the stuff we, we saw earlier in the container. Why are you 